Yo, what's up, everybody? This is JT back with another episode. And today, the fucking world's going crazy. Independence Day is coming up. We have Rovers waiting to get it overturned. Canada opening up the gates to all the shorties that are want the scoop de scoop. So, where is this fucking world going to, bro? What's gonna happen? Are we independent? What the fuck's going on with the world? We on one, bro. Shit's, shit's going on. But, like, like they say, like, if you just don't take care of yourself and your people around you, you ain't got shit, bro. Like, I already recorded this once, and if it wasn't for background noise, this shit would be already done, but you can't fucking stop us. I'm fresh off a lobster roll. Me and my pregnant wifey, nine months pregnant, shout outs to her, going through the damn thing right now, and the more I see her grow, and all the doctor's appointments, all that, all that crazy, just roll the dice with the good Lord. It, it's just fucking crazy. You just realize how blessed you are with the, with everything, man. It's hilarious. At the same time I have my first baby, Roe vs. Wade got overturned. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like if you wanted one. It's going to be a little harder. First of all, guys aren't even busting in chicks no more, dog. We're deep in a fleshlight with Oculus Rift on. Please believe. No one's fucking... Nobody's fucking no more, dude. If you're fucking, you're literally in a free costume, scared of your identity, acting fucking weird in a fucking hotel thing with a hole cut out of your fucking backside glory holes in costumes are going to be more popular than regular sex dude I this is the next generation that's going to be born that fucking has their eggs fucking you know plucked farm raised chicken ass boys and uh the dudes the dude bitches are going to be just Hydro lesbians, just fucking beta males. But who knows, dude? Every generation said this before the last, so we'll see, man. But um, yeah, it's hilarious. The more people I talk to, like that are like forty and fifty, they literally have like given up on that. They're like, "What's the fucking meaning of this? All this shit's stupid." No one's gonna miss you but your family. What the fuck is life? Like, what are, we, what are you gonna live for? I'm just like... I don't fucking know, dude. I love hand strength. I love the fact of knowing, like, that you can strangle people with a hand. Like, small things like that get me off. I'm like, man... Simple... I love that everyone has different strengths and it fascinates me and I love when people have a strength that you just randomly beat with your strength for example like beer pong <sighs> see me on a beer pong table I will mop up the best player you fucking know let's put money on down like for that example are stupid video games but I hate when it goes against me like see I didn't grow up fucking going to circuses or fucking other shit so my lady's fucking brother so basically my stepbrother no not my stepbrother my s brother-in-law this we went to this arcade over here in Vegas and you know Vegas they're freaky with the fucking arcades and games I grew up in a small fucking town in Colorado Trinidad, Colorado, Pueblo, Colorado, Grand Junction, Colorado. We don't have fucking arcades out there, so the boy got mopped up in front of my lady, in front of my stepson. It was not a good time. I, I literally, at one point, I broke so bad, I literally was like, fuck this shit. Let's play some real sports. Let's go play some real shit. Like, this is bullshit. This is for fucking kids. And once you reach that level with anything, you lost. So it was a lesson for all of us. It's tough to take L's out here, man. Especially 
in front of your family. And there's been a lot of good dads who have died on that fucking hill of trying not to take a loss. So shout outs to them because I even beat a dad one time. And he died on that hill. He wore the wrong fucking shoes that day. He, he decided to play me one on one in basketball. But, you know, we're on some schizophrenic rambling shit right now. But I beat his ass. But, um, yeah, man. It's, it's weird. Like, I watched, I haven't, like, subscribed to these other videos. And you, I just go like off and on of like scare tactics. Like I pay attention to UFOs. I pay attention to like weather patterns, weird shit like that. And it seems like weather patterns and UFOs are fucking, um, you know, they're pretty like aligned along the graph. So, I pay attention to that. But this is your boy fresh off like two weeks of amoxicillin, staying sober my first night of drinking, and it's a night cast. The wifey let me night cast tonight. But shout out to, um, you know, all the new subscribers, all the new views. Comment, subscribe. This is your boy JT. Got the baby due in, in July 19th, so... We're going to see how everything just kind of gets down. But like, subscribe, you know, ask some questions. It's JT. One time for the one time. We're done, son.